I've experienced a lot of hostility, discrimination, bigotry, and prejudice growing up in this country as a person of color. But in the 25 years that I have lived in this country, I have never, never experienced the level of hostility and hatred that I have experienced in the three short years that I have been up here at the Minnesota State Capitol. There is a politics about definitions that's floating around in this country that is unbecoming of all of us as Americans. And there's a politics of definitions that's going around this state that is unbecoming of the good-hearted Minnesotans who represent all of us and send us here to make good public policies for all of the people of this state. And that politics of definition isn't just about defining marriage, but it is about defining who is an American, and I'm certainly in some circles, not included in that definition. It's been my experience. It's about the definition of defining who's the Minnesotans. And it's been my personal experience as an elected official sitting up here that I have been not included in that definition. And today, today, we are here to talk about the definition of marriage that is not supposed to include a number of us who are here today. If that isn't the politics of hatred and the politics of lies, I don't know what is. And good Minnesotans will not, will not, will not stand for it. We are better than that. We come from ancestors who came to this country because they wanted, they wanted equal rights, equal treatment, they want to respect, and they want to be left alone, to self-determine, and to live in freedom and in peace. How dare we, how dare we to desecrate our ancestors and the work they have done to establish the rights and guarantees for every citizen in this country by attempting to do away by, in the name of God and in the name of public policy, to do away and to try to define away an entire population of people who are very productive, who are part of us, who are our relatives and our friends, and who are our people in every day, living in our neighborhoods every day today. How dare we do that? I have been there. I have seen what happens to people like me when I'm not at the table. I was told that, Senator, you better work hard like heck to get your butt to the Capitol because you know what? If you're not at the table helping to carve out what's on the table, you will be on the table being carved out and eaten alive. And that's exactly what we will not let happen because there are those of us here. There are those of us here who are at the table, and we will not, we will not allow that to happen. We will be witnesses to what's happening up here, and we will take the message of the politics of hatred and division that's up here, and we're going to take it to the rest of Minnesota, and we're going to tell them, Minnesotans are better than this. They deserve better than this, and we're not going to let this happen.